Welcome back to Eyewitness News this morning. Remember, if you have a legal question, we've got our Charlie O'Hara in studio here to answer them for you. The number is 436-1212, so give us a shout. Now, we already do have a caller on the line with a question for Charlie O'Hara, so caller, go ahead with your question. Caller, are you there? Yes. Yeah, go ahead with your question. Okay, yes. I'm trying to figure out uh, how far can the police follow you before they can uh, just pull you over? Well, that's kind of an interesting question. In fact, there's some case law on that. The police can actually follow you. And, and, and it's not against the law for them to follow you. Now, it might be against the law for them to harass you or, or just do things because of your race or your sex or something like that. But they can follow somebody and wait for them to make a mistake, and then they can pull them over. You, you, you can't come in and say, well, the, the police were following me, and then I, then I violated the law, and they shouldn't have pulled me over. If you violate the law, they can pull you over. If they pull you over for no reason, they're obviously wrong, and you can do something about that. You can throw out any evidence they find, and if it's really <coughs> a, a, an agree, a, a bad situation, you can actually probably even sue them. But they can actually follow you, and if they begin to follow you, they can follow you until you make a mistake, and then they can pull you over. Interesting, but also they can't force you into anything, obviously, that would make the illegal action. That's correct. Right. I mean, so if, if you they feel can just that stay behind yeah. you and you mm -hmm. can drive along, and if you forget to signal or something like that, then they can pull you over and do what they right. want to do. Oftentimes, do you think they're checking license plates or? Well, they do that all the time now, right. actually. They go okay. up and down the road, and they go through parking lots, and they check for driver's li I mean, mm -hmm. uh, uh, license, I mean, on plates. the license plates mm -hmm. for a driver's license to make sure somebody has with that name would have a driver's license, okay. try to compare things, and they do all kinds of things now. you got to be careful. All right, we do have another caller okay. on the line. Go ahead with your question for Charlie. <laughs> Yeah, I asked if um, a judge took a father's rights, a parental rights away, if he could. Yeah, I was wondering if a judge took away a father's rights, does the mother have legal rights to have the child adopted? Well, yes. I mean, if the, if the mother's the only legal parent, if the... If the rights are severed, I don't know mean what, what you mean by taking the rights away. If the rights are actually severed and the father is, has nothing legally to do with the child again, and the only parent left is the mother, well, then the mother could obviously have it adopted without getting back a hold of the father because the father's totally legally out of it. Now, if he's just lost custody and, and, and uh, he doesn't come around anymore, you're still going to have to contact him if you do that. It, it's kind of, you're going to have to check with a lawyer about that because that's kind of a legal issue. But yes, it is possible. All right, and one more call, so go ahead with your question now for Charlie. Yes, go ahead. Yes, I have a, I have a workman's comp case pending, and I seen the, the judge for the hearing back in December. Is there a, a time limit with which a judge has in order to make a decision whether workman's comp is going to pay or whether the individual is going to pay? Well, I, I would actually have to check to make sure whether there's actually a time limit. However, in any of the legal systems, when the judge gets a case, sometimes it takes the judge a long time to make a decision for a lot of reasons. Number one, they're busy, but number two, there's they got to look up the law, and sometimes they got to go back and look at the facts, and then they got to think about it and decide. So, the fact that it takes a while doesn't mean anything at all. It means the judge is really thinking about it. And that's what we want them to do. All right. Okay. Thanks so much, mm. Charlie. All right, we're out of time here, but let's go over to Mark. Check with your forecast this week. Mark?